We are divine eternal beings, endowed with personal will and power of choice. If we have no personal will, then we wouldn't have the power of choice, but we do. This personal will and power of choice is given and authorized by the divine creator of all things, and nothing or no one can absurd it or override it ever. We have complete freedom and use of our will and personal choice. Does that mean we can do whatever we like? Of course it does. Does that mean that there is no rewards or consequences for our choices? No, it doesn't. We have all heard the phrase, with freedom comes great responsibility. What does that mean? It means that however I use my will or whatever I choose, I will be held accountable for it. How will I be held accountable for it? Well, mainly there are three ways. First, your use of will and choices will have a direct effect on your state of being. You become what you think, feel, choose, and do. Secondly, your use of will and choice will manifest itself in some way in your life experiences. Hence, the saying goes, you shall reap what you have sown. And three, your choices and use of will has a rippling effect on everything else in the world, directly and indirectly. There is something else I found quite interesting in the recalls of the near-death experiences accounts. And that is, when we have our life review, not only do we get to see what we have done, but we get to feel and experience what we have done to others. That is, we can see and feel the effects of our choices and use of will, and the results of those choices made in other people's lives. We all are aware of how others make us feel and the effects of those feelings and the part that they play in our own choices, but generally we do not consider how our choices and interaction affects other people. If we are to love better, this has to be paramount in our minds. Ultimately, to love is a choice that we make. To be loving, to be kind, considerate, honest, supportive, forgiving, compassionate, nurturing, a source of provisions, warmth, generosity, to be helpful, to be friendly, to be trustworthy, strong, protective and faithful is a choice that we make with our freedom of will. So one can only conclude that to choose to be a vessel of love expression in our lives is a very wise choice to make. For I have been told by my loving guides, life is full of choices and one choice that we make creates more choices. It is up to us what we choose. However, there are choices and there is the divine choice. And the divine choice is the choice that we make out of love. Whenever we make a choice, we are co-creating life experiences for ourselves and others. When we make a choice through love, 
we co-create heavenly experiences here on earth that all will benefit from. So to choose choices out of love, being the divine choice, is one of the most wise things that we can do. Tune in for part four. Thank you, and may God bless all of you.